So what we have here is we have a story which is slowly adding on. So what we, and it's not being it's not being an entirely. Uh, so what I'm saying is that we we have Christians who are telling the story, and over the time we're progressing. If you will progress to I believe it is the Gospel of Luke, you also have the story about how after Jesus uh, dies, there's a massive earthquake, and bodies arise from the graves, uh, the bodies of saints, and they go into the holy city or into Jerusalem, depending on your uh, version of the, of the scripture that you use, your version of the Bible. So what's going on is the different claims are slowly being added through time, and many and uh, the later gospels tend to have all the previous claims in them, but adding on the more extravagant ones. So this is uh, similar to how regular folk tales are uh, brought up. You start off with a basic idea, some person who you know did some mundane, uh, I, mundane traditional type of death and resurrection that you would expect from other prophets of the time, and then slowly you have more uh, attributes uh, added on. Now, the other aspect that I want to bring to you is that at the time, writing was not scarce. Uh, writing was not unknown, and people did write. They wrote uh, mainly letters, especially between uh, governors and uh, other Roman officials. And they chose to not write about any of the events attributed to, G to Jesus until many decades after the fact. The only people who did write about him were people who actually believed in him, from uh, members of the church. They did not find Jesus to be an important enough figure to actually write about, to actually have uh, any mention. Now, could there have been one or two letters written that we didn't receive? Sure, but all that means is that only one or two letters, uh, something that you know, a minor prophet, a regular uh, spiritual healer came by. However, you really expect the guy who goes around appearing uh, bodily resurrected beyond a group of 500, uh, raising the dead from the graves and marching them into a major city, you would expect somebody would write something about this. You would expect, you know, it would get some mention. However, uh, all this evidence is, it's, it's simply lacking. That would be like having uh, somebody come up to you and say, did you hear last year how George Bush, uh, you know, raised the Loch Ness Monster out of the ocean through helicopters and flew it over New York? And then, you know, we have no writings about it all. You would think if something like that happened, everyone would know about it. Stories about this would be flying left and right. I mean, you would have people in China hearing about uh, this guy who did this. Yet none of these stories are being told at all. Uh, and one of the other aspects that I want to bring to you about this is when we're talking about uh, the uh, gospel authors and about how they uh, really changed, one of the aspects is we only have their version of how they changed after we changed. We don't actually know exactly what type of people they were before the events uh, which are described in the Bible. We don't know exactly how strongly Paul would have persecuted or not persecuted uh, Christians because he's the one making the claims about how he is. I mean, if you go out and you uh, listen to even uh, modern day preachers today, like you would come out to them and they're going to say how all of them, how they were the worst of people, how they used to be complete drug addicts and how they used to believe in atheism, how they used to be like the biggest atheist you ever saw. Then you come up to them and you, you basically ask them, you know, so which atheist do you know about? Uh, you know, what uh, claims of atheism were the ones that persuaded you to actually go out and call yourself an atheist in the past? And, um, and uh, many of them will simply be completely uh, dumbfounded. They have no answer. So even today, you have people coming by and saying claims, oh, I was the worst person, I was the biggest uh, opposition to my belief right now, without actually being so. They lie today, so the question is, how do we know they didn't simply do something like that in the past? How do you know the gospel authors didn't say we were such uh, you know, strong per persecutors without us actually knowing this? Uh, in terms of uh, uh, two more issues that I want to raise here, are that uh, in terms of uh, why are you preaching in Jerusalem as opposed to uh, going out and uh, you know going to a different uh, city if you're trying to make if you're fabricating up a story, one of the aspects is many of this preaching didn't start until a couple of decades after the uh, death of Jesus Christ, and by then many of the points would have been lost. As we have already established, that Jesus was not a major figure; he was uh, just a minor uh, healer who came through. So not that many people would have really taken notice of him, and he, would, he wouldn't have been that different from many other healers who uh, did exist in uh, Jerusalem and other Roman cities at the time. Uh, uh, also, you can't really find his body, so we can't even say if the tomb really was or was not empty. All we have are the claims, because given, that, uh, the, given the location, a body out there which is placed in an open tomb, which isn't buried, would uh, rot within a matter of several years. After only five years, a body itself will become unrecognizable given the humidity of the desert. So there's no way, even if they did have the actual body, it'll be so unrecognizable, you'd never actually see if it was or was not Jesus. So there's no way to disprove them, so no one would even bother looking, because it'll be a pointless endeavor uh, to go after. 
uh, other ways that they would uh, question is, uh, you know, all we have are the claims that basically how he was born and the claims that uh, he's going to appear uh, before uh, several people. We don't actually have any of the claims of him uh, making wondrous feats after his death, such as the raising of the people, the creating of earthquakes, or uh, any other of the aspects till many decades afterwards, which were not actually introduced in the earliest preaching. So by the time these claims were actually introduced into writings, it would be too late to, co to contest them, as simply most of the people who would have known about them would already be dead by this point. So all I really have to say here is we don't really know what happened. Uh, he could have resurrected, he uh, may not have, but all we really have are writings which happened many years afterwards, a complete lack of anybody caring about uh, this modern uh, group of Christians until, once again, decades after the fact, as well as a story which has uh, supernatural attributes given to it more and more as time progresses and fairly mundane points. Once again, uh, with the women, the women are first introduced in Mark, where all they say is they are a bunch of people who came by and, and you know, saw that the tomb was empty. They were making the claim at the time that the tomb was empty, not that uh, Jesus, uh, not that Jesus actually bodily resurrected. So nobody, nobody's, they're not going to be not uh, using women or like excluding them simply because it's a mundane point. Nobody's going to contest it. However, in the later Gospels, when they are talking about how the woman actually saw Jesus and, you know, talked to him, by this point in Mark, the women were already introduced. So the later Gospel authors, if they were fabricating the story, would have had to use these women. If for no other reason, then they already in the story and the Gospel of Mark was available, so they couldn't not use them. So it's not because they want, they, it's not because they use them because, uh, you know, they, were, they wouldn't use them because they're incredible, un, in, not credible sources. It's that they were already stuck with them because Mark introduced them, so you may as well just go along with the story. Story. So all I really can do here is cast some data about this and show there's not really that much evidence to say any of these, of these events happened. Could they? It's a possibility, but certainly not from the historical evidence. Thank you.